By default, it is set to PHP mail. Now, if you're gonna be sending any mail at all, you're definitely gonna to want to configure this properly using a transactional email provider. Success, we're good to go here. How's it going everybody? It's Dave from Profitable Tools. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure Modic to send emails as well as monitor for bounces. Now, if you don't already have an installation of Modic, you're gonna to wanna to check out my full install guide that I posted just about a week ago. All right, so without further ado, let's dig into this. I've got my Modic installation up and running. From the dashboard, I'm gonna go over to the gear icon on the right-hand sidebar. Let's click that. The sidebar pops out and we'll go down to configuration. From there, we're gonna choose email settings over on the left. And then we're gonna to go to the drop down menu here that says service to send mail through. By default, it is set to PHP mail. Now, if you're gonna be sending any mail at all, you're definitely gonna to want to configure this properly using a transactional email provider. If you don't know what transactional email is, just hang with me, I'll walk you through it each step of the way in this video. But I do have a dedicated video coming out talking exactly about what transactional email is and why you need one for your website. If you're running WordPress and you don't have transactional email, you're doing it wrong. So. Let's go ahead and set this up using Amazon SES as our transactional mailer. I'm gonna click the drop down menu, choose Amazon SES. Now, here is where I need to enter my login credentials. So, this is where we'll have to go out to Amazon SES. If you don't have an account, don't worry, it's super easy. You might need a credit card, but you're probably not gonna see any charges for a very long time. I think uh, the first 60,000 emails or so are free uh, per month for the first year. And then after that, it is 10 cents per 1,000 emails. So, if you're sending out say 50,000 emails per month, you're not looking at any substantial costs here at all. All right, so I'm gonna go get logged into Amazon SES and I'll see you once I'm there. All right, so we're logged into Amazon AWS and to find the SES service, you can simply type in SES from the find services box. Now it's not gonna be the first option here, which is always peculiar to me. Uh, everyone calls it SES, but it stands for simple email service. It's the second one down on the menu. It's been that way for, for quite some time. All right, so here is Amazon SES and we just have really a few things to do over here. And then we're gonna set up some notifications using another service from Amazon called SES. NS, simple notification service, uh, and that'll handle our bounces. All right, so the first thing we need to do is add our domain. So head over to the domain section and hit verify a new domain. Type in the name of the domain where you'll be sending from. It doesn't necessarily have to be related to your modic installation, but it likely will be similar. Then make sure you check this box here that says generate DKIM settings. Then hit verify this domain. All right, what happens next is you are given a single text record as well as three CNAME records, and you'll need to enter those into your DNS provider. We've talked about DNS providers several times throughout the channel, but if you're not familiar, it's gonna be something like GoDaddy where you bought your, your domain name, or it could even be SiteGround if you're hosting your, your site over there and they are handling your DNS. So. Go ahead and pause right now and enter in the text record as well as the three CNAME records. You do not need to enter in the MX record. In fact, I recommend not entering in the MX record. Chances are you are already receiving mail from another provider, something like G Suite or I use Amazon Workmail. So if you already have MX records set up, don't change those, otherwise you won't be able to receive your emails any longer. So just the text record and the CNAME records, that will give us permission to send from your domain. All right, I'm over in my domain name registrar. I use DNS Made Easy. Let me go ahead and paste this information in here. Now, I don't need this end part, so I can just remove that because DNS Made Easy completes it for me. But that looks good. Let me go ahead and copy the actual value here. I'll paste that in and submit. Now for the CNAME records, I'll copy the first value. And here is my third CNAME value. I'm gonna paste it in, Let's remove this end part. We'll get the value over here and paste it in again. For me, I need to add a period at the end of amazon.com so that it doesn't tack on the profitable tools domain. Uh, let's go ahead and hit submit here. All right, so I've added all of these records except for the MX record. And let's go ahead and close that. Now, as you can see, I am pending verification. I'm not enabled for sending yet. Uh, it might take a second, but if you're impatient, you can go ahead and refresh and see if it works. All right, so I've been verified for sending, but my DKIM is not verified yet. Uh, this often is the case I find 
The DKIM just takes maybe another 30 seconds to a minute to verify. DKIM stands for Domain Key Identified Mail, and it's basically just an authorization system to make sure that you're authorized to send from the domain that you say you're sent from. So we have SPF records, which is that text record we set up, and then the CNAME records are the DKIM authorization. So those combined validate for a lot of providers that this is an authorized domain to send from. Let's go ahead and refresh here one more time. There we go, DKIM is finally verified that did take a couple of minutes for me for that to go all the way through. So if it does for you, don't worry. Sometimes it just takes a little bit here. All right, so now that that's all set up, we're gonna need to get some login credentials so that we can actually connect from Modic over to AWS. Setting this up is actually fairly easy. We're gonna go down here to where it says SMTP settings. We'll do create my SMTP credentials. Here we're gonna create an IAM username. Now that's kind of AWS speak for username. So go ahead and name this something that is easily identifiable to you called mine profitable tools modic let's hit create now in this next screen we're going to disclose the username and password for your SMTP credentials. Now, this is the only time you're gonna have access to it, so you'll probably want to save this. Now, if something goes wrong and you lose that password, it's okay. You can't get it back, but it's still okay because you can always just generate another username and then replace it in Modic, no harm, no foul. All right, so here is my username and password. Let me just copy and paste this over into Modic's configuration. Now this drop down screen right here, it says Amazon SES host, and I have three options. I have Amazon SES West, East One, or West Two. It's very important that you choose the right location. So how do you know which location you're in? Well, it's gonna tell you in Amazon SES. In fact, it does right inside of the URL. We can see that this one ends with US-West. So that is where I'm configuring this particular client. You can set them up in different zones. In fact, I chose this one because I don't have any clients in this zone. But when you're in the main AWS screen, you can switch zones right from this drop-down menu. All right, heading back to Modic, let me go ahead and choose the right zone here. Let's go ahead and test the connection. Success, we're good to go here. Let's hit apply. Now we can also head back into email settings and actually send out a test mail if you like. Let's go and do that right now. All right, here we are inside of my mail clients. You can see that I have a Modic test mail. It just says, hi, this is a test mail from Modic testing, testing one, two, three. So everything went through correctly. Now at this point, we are not done. We still need to set up Modic to monitor for bounces. And if you have a new AWS account, you are in what's called sandbox mode, which means that you're not able to send emails to anyone outside of your domain name. So you are gonna need to request a increase. Let me show you how to do that. From the SES dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to choose sending statistics. Then from the right-hand sidebar, you're gonna to wanna to choose request increase sending limits. From here, you're gonna fill out a short form explaining what you're using SES for, and you do need to make sure that you are following their rules. Let me show you what I mean. So under case classification, you'll ask for an SES sending limits increase, right? That's what we're doing right here. Then you'll also choose the mail type. And here you're gonna to wanna to choose marketing emails because that's what we're using is marketing automation. Then under website, you'll enter in your Modic installation. And here where they ask you to describe how you will comply with the AWS terms of service, actually you wanna be quite specific. They have some questions they want you to answer. How do you plan to acquire your mailing list? How do you plan to handle bounce and complaints. Here you could say that you'll use Amazon SNS, simple notification service. How can recipients opt out of email? Well, you can say there will be a link at the bottom of every email so people can opt out. How did you choose the new sending rate or a sending quota that you have specified in this request? So you can say, oh, I have a mailing list of 3,000 people. I plan to spend out one email a week. So that's where I'm getting this number from. So if you answer those questions in a legitimate way, Amazon is gonna have no problem increasing your sending limit and kicking you out of sandbox mode. But know that if you are kind of flippant about that and disregard it, they might not let you out of sandbox mode and you won't be able to use SES. It's one of the reasons that SES has really good deliverability rates. They're kind of a weird paradox because they are both the best in terms of deliverability and they're also the cheapest platform out there. So you really do want to use Amazon SES. So just take a second and follow the rules, will ya? All right, it's time to set up simple notification service. So back in the main dashboard for AWS, let's type in SNS, and sure enough, simple notification service pops up. 
And from the left-hand sidebar, you're going to choose Topics, and then we're going to create a new topic. We'll give a name, something like BNC for Bouncing Complaint, and then I'll just add the domain name. Let's go ahead and create a topic. Now on the next screen, you're going to need to create what's called a subscription. So let's click the Create Subscription button. The topic will be filled in for you, but under Protocol, you're going to want to choose HTTPS. Now for the endpoint, you need to be very specific with where your Modic installation is installed. So to get that, head over to your your configuration. If you're in the dashboard, we'll click on the gear icon, then go to configuration. It's going to be the first URL right here. Yours might have index.php in it like mine does, or it might not. If you have the index.php and you don't want it, there are ways to remove it. It's not very complicated, but that's for another video. For now, we're going to fly with this URL. I'll head back over to Simple Notification Services, and I'll enter in that URL as my endpoint. But I'm not done yet. There's actually a webhook that we need to call. So after the index.php in my case, again, you might not have that part. I will put a slash mailer slash Amazon slash callback. Then we'll head down to create a subscription. All right, we get a success message that this subscription was created, but we're not done here because we actually have to confirm that Modic can talk to Amazon. All right, so to do that, let's go ahead and click subscriptions over here. You're gonna to wanna to find the subscription that you just created and look under status. It should say confirmed. If it doesn't, you can request a confirmation by clicking on the radio button and then clicking this request confirmation button from above. But it should honestly happen almost instantaneously. If you have any trouble, you likely entered this endpoint in incorrectly. So go back to your site, double check, make sure you get the correct webhook. That's the slash mailer slash Amazon slash callback following your domain name. When this is all set up, you're going to head over to Amazon SES because we have a little bit more configuration to set up. Once you're inside of SES, go down to domains, find your Modic installation domain, click on that, go down to notifications. And here's where we have to configure SES to talk to SNS. So we'll just hit edit configuration. For bounces, we're going to choose the BNC rule that we set up before. Complaints, same thing and deliveries, same thing. We don't need email feedback forwarding since we're not gonna actually be receiving email through SES. So let's go ahead and disable this and hit save config. All right, we are all set. Modic is set to send emails out through Amazon SES, which is both affordable and extremely high quality, good deliverability rates. And we also have notifications for bounces and complaints set up through Amazon's simple notification service. So we have a real powerhouse system here. Now, if you have any other questions, make sure you leave me a comment comment down below or head over to the Facebook group. We are talking about a lot of different email marketing tools as well as other ways to grow and automate your business. So I'll have the link for that in the description as well. Thank you for watching. That's going to do it for this video and I will see you in the next one.